Oh, good. You're just in time to join me in a competition. So I've got a couple of photographs of people you might know here, and I'm putting them up to see if you can tell who they are and which is which. Yes, you've guessed it. It's Dean and myself. You can tell that even upside down, because the eyes give it away, don't they? Strange thing about eyes, you look at eyes to see what people are thinking. The eyes are the windows of the soul, has been said. They tell, you if, they tell people if you're being direct or if you're being shifty or threatening or morose. It's all there in the eyes. And if you start doing odd things to them, you get sometimes rather disconcerting effects. So let's get rid of these. These are cut out of a magazine and stuck onto dark glasses. And they're hiding the, the real eyes. But if you muck around with eyes in photographs or pictures or cartoons or drawings, you can get some weird effects because the eyes are such a, a focal point of a face. Have a look at this one. I'm going to bring it up in front of me. And it's a picture of Dean. Or is it me? Or what is it? In fact, it is disconcerting. It's got Dean's face with my eyes glued in on top of his. The trouble is with a picture like that is you're never quite sure where to look. You try to look for the eyes, but there are two sets of them, so your gaze shifts between the two of them. You're never sure where to look. And that's a slightly weird effect. Well, that's what's happening in a different way with these photographs up here of Dean and myself. If they look all right to you there, you're like most people. Most people see them as OK. You watch what happens when I turn my photograph upside down. You'll notice something strange happening as it goes horizontal. There we go. Dear me, what's happening to the man's eyes? In fact, what I've done is to cut my eyes out and turn them upside down. When you see the face upside down and the eyes right, it looks okay. The face round the right way and the eyes upside down looks absolutely horrendous. So let's turn it back the way it looks best. It's a very weird thing. As long as the eyes are up the right way, your perception of the face, although the face is upside down, is quite good. It's easily recognisable. In fact, more recognisable than the entire face and eyes upside down. So there you have it. It's in the eyes. The same thing's true with that picture of Dean's there. I've cut his eyes out and turned them upside down, and you get that strange shift as he goes horizontal. He looks very mean, and then really quite peculiar, because his eyes are upside down too. Turn him up the other way, he starts to look normal. You can compare it with a photograph of him, which has been unattacked. So it's in the eyes again. And in fact, so much so that even if you take a larger piece of the face that isn't the eyes and turn it upside down, you don't get that effect at all. Here we are. There's me with my nose upside down. It just looks silly. It looks like me with my nose upside down. Turn it up there, and again, it looks silly. You don't get anything of that effect that you do when you turn the eyes upside down. So, there you are, a graphic demonstration that really, it's in the eyes. Curious.